On November the 13th, 2015, a woman falsely accused me with rape, kidnapping, sodomy, aggravated assault, heinous sexual related felonies, all which are completely untrue. I got arrested and spent a month in jail with sex offenders. Your whole life just gets flipped upside down. No one investigated. They just wanted me to be a rapist. Two and a half years later, a judge found this woman not credible. The rape case was dismissed. Since I was falsely accused, my life has been turned upside down. I've lost everything. I lost my dream, which was a 437-acre bison ranch. I'm Jerry's fiance. People, they have called me a sex offender. We had to move out of Jerry's ranch and live with my mom. He's unable to get a job. I fear every day for my two sons because I know how easy it is for a woman to falsely accuse a man of rape. I've been traumatized by everything that's happened to me and I don't trust women. I don't even have sex with my fiance. I mean, I, I'm afraid to be intimate. I'm six foot four, halfway good looking, successful. Uh, I'm discriminated upon at every level. Yeah, I'm a victim. I feel that men like myself, self-made, hardworking, are good targets and are under attack. I feel like I'm the new minority. The case was dismissed after two and a half years. Yes. But it was dismissed after two and a half years based on information that was available at the time the charges were filed. Correct. Give us a couple of examples of the kind of overt information that was available. There's um, an interview where we have audio where the uh, law enforcement from Mariposa County interviewed the uh, alleged victim and they asked her if they saw, if she saw a phone on the wall, a, a, a landline, since she said she was locked up for three days at my cabin. And she said, yes. And they said, did you dial 911? And she said, no. And did you try dialing 911 when he wasn't around? No. And they went to the cabin. They saw that it couldn't be locked up. Uh, they knew that she went to the bar to have two or th actually three or four tall boys before she went to do the report and come up with her story. They knew all this stuff. Uh, they even saw a picture on her phone that shocked me. She sent me this picture one day when I was working on the ranch uh, of her bending over on all fours that says I'm horny. And the cops had that. And they continued with the 18 felony arrest charges. And after work, they just handcuffed me, took me in, and that was it. I was, I didn't even know the story. So your, your point is it was guilt by accusation. And it wasn't innocent until proven guilty, just there was an accusation and you were guilty. It was just this and a normal day turns to upside down, yeah. And your life has not been the same not since. Not been the same since. You think that, that men are vulnerable to just that, that some woman can step up, accuse a man, and in this day and time, it's just assumed guilty. And even if it's proven two and a half years later to be bogus, in the meantime, your life is ruined. Yeah, I lost a 437-acre ranch, two log cabins that or, or my artwork that took me years to build that I built legally with permits, and they, 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 they can throw a fake rape case into a civil trial. So you think men are the new minority and false allegations ruining their lives can just become weaponized by women? Absolutely. And you're concerned, because you have sons, you're afraid that could happen to your boys. Yeah, I have a teenager. He's about ready to go in the dating world, and I honestly had no idea Every mother who has sons needs to be aware. I was not even aware yeah. until I met Jerry that it was that easy. As for me, I, I've, I've, I come from a blind father. And I grew up uh, in Coachella Valley. And I worked out in the fields. I was a straight-A student, scholarships. I worked day and night building my dream. And I didn't do anything. I just told somebody to leave. It was a buildup over a week where I didn't show up for half the week, and then at the end I asked her to leave, but there wasn't even an argument. There wasn't even sex. Well, we reached out to uh, the attorney for Jerry's accuser for a statement, and we've not heard back as of the date of this taping, so no comment from the other side. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.